Hello, um, I was finally able to finish and uh, post the syllabus. Um, so I wanted to go over the syllabus very quickly with you. Um, please read the, um, the front page, which goes over the course content, um, what is expected of the course, of you, of me, um, and then you're gonna wanna go over the policies around special needs, around sexual harassment, um, and around credit hours. So familiarize yourself with all of that. That's the first two pages. Um, my email is at the top. You will be submitting work to me by emailing me um, your essays. Your essays should be Word documents. Um, they can be Word online, but when you do SharePoint, for some reason I'm unable to edit them, and I need to be able to edit them because I give you edits on them um, online. So. Um, so make sure you are submitting them uh, appropriately. So they should be attachments as Word docs because then I can open them and edit them on Word Online or they can be Word Online documents, but SharePoint for some reason doesn't allow me to do that. I don't understand that. I'm probably doing something wrong, but for this, because there's other ways around it, please just <laughs> submit it in a way that is accessible to me. Um, okay, so then we get to the schedule. As you'll notice, um, you have about a week for each genre, so the first three weeks, the first week is fiction, the second week is poetry, the third week is drama. Um, the way that I've set it up is I have suggestions of when to read what, <laughs> and so I divided it by days, um, just as a suggestion. You can read it all at once, you can wait, save it all till the weekend, however you need to make it work so that I get the essay on time is fine with me. Um, I do, however, want you to read, so at the top of each day is an element. That element is the literary element I want you to be focusing on as you read the two docu or do the two texts under the element. So for instance, um, Flannery O'Connor's A Good Man is Hard to Find and James Baldwin, um, Sonny's Blues, both are under plot because they both do an excellent job um, of having different plot structures but showing plot and what it is. Um, so please read those while thinking about that element. You also have page numbers for the element. So plot has a page number in your textbook, um, by the way, which is the portable anthology. It's also on your syllabus um, and it should be in the course catalog online. You should already have had that information. Um, so. In your syllabus, there will be a page for each literary element. I want you to read that. If you're ever confused by anything, um, please let me know, and I will even upload a mini lecture on that element. With poetry, I'm going to be doing that a lot because the book covers fiction very well, but it does not cover poetry or drama. So expect several mini lectures for poetry and drama when we get to those weeks. For fiction, I think you're going to be okay. Fiction is what most people are the most um, familiar with anyway, so we should be fine there. But if you do need help, please, please, please reach out to me via my capital email. Um, what else do you need to know about the syllabus? The last three weeks are pretty empty. That's not because there's nothing to do. That's because by the last three weeks, by the third week, you'll be starting to work on your research essay. In your research essay, um, I will probably be putting up tons of supplemental um, material to help you with the research, um, to give you models for how to research. Um, when we get to that, it's not on the syllabus yet because I don't yet know what support you'll need. Um, but be expecting that in Blackboard. They won't be assignments as much as they will be supports for you. Um, but the reason those days are empty is because those are your work days. Um, those weeks you will not be getting new material. It's your job at that point to be going back over the material, choosing who you want to research, what you want to research, and really spending your time selecting really good sources. Um, at that point you will have had instruction and a small lecture on research, research from me. Um, and then the final week is you just getting ready for the final. So um, those last three weeks are empty, like I said, not because they aren't busy, but because you would be generating the work because it, you'll be writing. Um, if you go to the end of the syllabus, there is uh, an annotation strategy suggestion. Um, focus on the fiction, even though it's not exclusively fiction we're looking at. I want you to really focus on always look up a word you don't know because every word you don't know is like a little locked door. Um, you need to find your way in to be able to unlock the sentence and the meaning. But beyond that, it's really important when we're reading works of literature that we're able to kind of say what happened, particularly with fiction and drama, 
Say what happened, which is summary, and then say why it matters, which is interpretation. Interpretation, if you hone your skills this first week on fiction, in fiction, um, for your interpretation skills, um, you'll be really set up for poetry because interpretation is a large part of poetry and of reading poetry and of understanding poetry. Um, after that, there is a an essay structure. Please read through that. That is... We are not, this is college level English, it's English 102, we are not writing traditional one paragraph essay, I mean, sorry, five paragraph essays. Um, we're not trying to reiterate that very simple, simple uh, form. We want to move beyond that. We want complexity. We want our essays to be interesting and engaging. However, if anybody is confused about structure or organization, or if anyone's ever had a criticism from English 101 teachers or teachers in earlier parts of education about, um, not having cohesion, not having organization, please review this essay structure, this outline. Um, what's really essential for an essay is that you have one overall main argument or idea, which is your thesis, and then your body paragraphs, each of those have one supporting idea. That's the main, main, main thing. So you've got this big idea and then these smaller ideas stacked, um, and you can introduce those ideas however you like, you can transition between those ideas however you like, but when you're writing about literature, you also always need evidence, okay? So the evidence is um, quotations from your text, and really in this case, it always will be that. Um, so just review that. Um, don't get stuck on following it like to a T because I don't want you to be producing five paragraph essays, but I do want you to have an understanding of the bones of an essay, the skeleton of an essay. Um, once you have that understanding, you can flesh out essays and make them as unique and creative as you like. And then after that is maybe one of the most important parts of a syllabus, and that is your rubric. This is the rubric I will be grading all through four of the essays, all three of the essays, while we read and the final. Um, so the rubric will never change. Um, get to know the rubric, and then you'll understand what the expectations of each essay is. So between your the outline of the essay structure and the rubric, I think you'll have a pretty good idea of how to approach these essays. If you need individual help or instruction around that, please reach out to me. Um, and if I sense that we need it, actually, if you all, I would love if you would just like send me an email and say, hi, I am here in the course and I um, watch the videos and I I don't have questions but this is who I am that'd be great um, but when you do that it would be wonderful if you could let me know if you think that we need a little lecture on writing structure if we need something beyond the outline um, so let me know and I'd be happy to post that um, what else do I want to say about the syllabus I think that's covers it all. All right, let me get this up online.